Mommy, stop! Oh, I was filming! Lil Tay, a young social media star who went viral for her foul-mouthed videos, has died. She was 14, according to multiple reports. Her family announced the rising rapper's death in a statement shared Wednesday on Instagram. It is with a heavy heart that we share the devastating news of our beloved Claire's sudden and tragic passing, the statement said. We have no words to express the unbearable loss and indescribable pain. This outcome was entirely unexpected and has left us all in shock. The Instagram statement continued. Her brother's passing adds an even more unimaginable depth to our grief. Owner of the popular conservative blog Keep America, U.S. Jesse Ryan claims that he witnessed a car collision that took the lives of little Tay and her brother. He commented on Instagram saying, as someone who was at the scene, I can confirm that both were together when passing. Due to car collision, the brother was the on driving. Local officials are speculating he may have been texting and driving being the cause. He then went on to say this after a friend of his messaged him about the incident. Hey brother, were you at the crime scene? He replied by saying I was not. One of my admins commented that, and it since has been deleted by me. Myself or my team have no knowledge or have never me, little Tay, or her brother. I am truly sorry for the family's loss and hope they can recover in private. We've lost the biggest flexor in the game. I wish her rest. The sudden alleged death of Lil Tay has left people questioning what is true in the case and what is not. It was announced this morning the 14-year-old social media rapper had died in a statement published on her official Instagram page on Wednesday. The statement, which was unattributed, claimed Day and her brother had both died suddenly though provided no further information. His father, Christopher Hope, allegedly refused to provide any clarity on the situation when contacted by the U.S. son. When the dad was allegedly asked if his daughter and son had died, to which he reportedly responded, I'm not going to comment on that right now. Her former manager could not confirm her death. A statement from her former manager, Henry Tang, has further surfaced that casts doubt on whether or not the teen is actually dead or alive. I have been in communication with individuals who have an intimate understanding of the family situation. Given the complexities of the current circumstances, I am at a point where I cannot definitively confirm or dismiss the legitimacy of the statement issued by the family, he told the Daily Beast. Mail in Line claims they've reached out to Vancouver Police, where the family is from, and Los Angeles County Police, where the family resides now. And they stated the police station said they had no record of her or her brother's death. The Mirror has reached out to Vancouver Police and Los Angeles County Police for confirmation. Also, the New York Post has called law firm Lindsay LP in Vancouver, where Lil Tay's father, Chris Hope, works. The site claims that the person who answered the phone was Chris, but would not confirm the passing of his daughter. To make things even more confusing, an Instagram account has surfaced. Termani that posted a photo of Lil Tay when she was younger, holding up a stack of money. The caption read in all capital letters, To be clear, I am not dead. I don't have access anymore to the Lil Tay Instagram account. The account went on to claim, They are spreading misinformation. We are not dead. They're the only ones that got access to the account. Do not believe it. Comments are turned off for the post, and it's the only post on the account. The account reposted their post on their story with the caption, Repost this on your story, follow for updates. Their next story claims that they will go live on Instastram when the account hits 25,000 followers. Everybody needs to hear the truth, we are not dead, the story reads, then asks the reader to share and follow the account.